everybody. Welcome back. This is Barry Johns, and this show is Studio Talk. Today, I'm going to talk about what kind of storage backup options you should be utilizing in your project studio. So let's get straight to it. Okay, so one of the most often overlooked and quite frankly underutilized is what options for storage do you need when you have a project recording studio? Now, back in the day, because I say back in the day, we had these 7200 RPM drives, we have these 5400 RPM drives, of which you still see today in external hard drives, okay? That are mainly meant for the purpose of backing up your audio, okay? Then you've got SSDs that have been out for a while. You've got uh, the regular SSDs. Then you got the NMV, NMV, oh crap, whatever it is. You know what I mean? The little, uh, the little card-based S uh, uh, SSD drives, uh, which are super, 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 super fast. Okay. So uh, here's here's what you need to have. And I'm gonna flat out. This is why I'm just telling you what you should be doing. And anyone tells you different, look at them as if they've got five heads. Okay. You need a redundancy of three levels of backup in your studio, okay? Three levels, that means you have the same thing backed up a total of three times, okay? It's never a matter of when or if your, I should say, it's never a matter of if your hard drive fails, it's a matter of when, SSD drives operate differently. They can only be um, uh, written to so many times until they conk out, even though there's no moving parts inside. And then with spinning drives, whether it's 5,400, 7,400, or even up to 10,000 and beyond, uh, beyond is very uncommon, but, but for most people, it's 5,400 and 7,200 RPMs. Um, that's a physical, mechanical thing that's spinning that ultimately is going to wear out. I've had hard drives go bad a lot of times in my journey, okay? A lot of times. And when you don't have that backup, you're screwed, okay? You know, um, so you don't have three levels of backup, preferably one level of backup. It's backed up to, then it's disconnected. It's not left connected. So in the event of a lightning strike or something like that, electrical surge, you don't have to worry about that drive being knocked out of commission. Now I have, I live in central Florida where it rains like a mofo and man, those violent thunderstorms and lightning storms come at you out of nowhere and they, they're heavy and they're intense. Okay. I've lost quite a few pieces of gear over the years due to that. Okay. Including a couple of hard drives. All right. So you want to make sure that you back up everything three levels. So You've got your original, which is your original thing, okay? And then you want to back that up to another drive. And then you want to have a secondary backup that backs up the same thing, okay? And then a third for where you plug in and unplug as you need it. So two of them are on all the time backing up as you go. I promise you this investment in money will be worth its weight and gold in some point in your recording journey. There are many things that need to be backed up. Obviously, your operating system has to be backed up, okay? Um, your, 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 your audio sessions all need to back, be backed up. If you do videography work, that needs to be backed up. A lot of this stuff needs to be backed up. Now, today, a lot of people are getting away from the physical desktop-style computers. A lot of people are working off laptops today. And so that makes it even, even a little more cumbersome doing backup now. For many, like this is a workhorse SSD. This is the drive, this particular drive I edit all my videos on. So this video you're watching right now will ultimately be put on this and I edit my videos. Now I've got two more just like it. Uh, this is a one terabyte SSD. And so uh, the other one uh, has all of my audio files going back decades, okay? As long as I've been recording in digital audio, the other drive has all of those sessions that I've done over those many years on it. Um, uh, that happens to be a two terabyte SSD, but you can get a lot, especially back in the day, they didn't use up as much space. Um, and, uh, then I have a third one that I use for 
all of my samples and everything that are out, that are not stored on my hard drive. Now, um, today, with as fast as hard drives are getting, as internal SSDs are getting, you can probably, if you've got enough space, leave your samples on your uh, system drive, whereas back in the day, that was just a no-go when you were dealing with 7,200 RPM drives. Uh, but with SSD, that kind of changed the game. Now, I happened just the other day, got a good deal on this one, okay? This was a deal that Best Buy had going on for a 14 terabyte uh, Western Digital uh, backup drive. Um, that uh, had great reviews, and I think I paid 200 bucks for it. That was a great deal, okay? So this now will be one of my main backup drives. I have another one very similar to this. It's an 8 terabyte. Let, let me kind of go over how many hard drives I've got back behind that monitor. I've got this little stand back there that I have all my various hard drives connected to, and then I have a couple of caddies that I have my 7200 RPM drives that I pulled out of my Mac Pro. And so I've probably got five or six 7200 RPM drives back there. I've got an eight terabyte USB-C. I've got a one terabyte USB-C uh, that is a uh, 5400 RPM drive. That's one of the ones I use to back up my operating system on uh, off, of the, off of my computer. Um, then I've got another external two terabyte. Now, the, the challenge that we run into with hard drives, sometimes we have to replace them and take them out of circulation not because they don't work anymore, but because the size is no longer effective, you know. Um, working off a two or four terabyte hard drive isn't as productive as it used to be, especially when you deal with 4K video like I do. That eats up hard drive space very quickly. So make sure in your project studio that somehow one way or another, everything you've got is backed up three times. That's a perfect road. If you can't afford to do that, then back up two times. Have one always connected backup source, whether it's something like this, quite frankly, that can back up all of your SSD drives, your system drive, and anything else you've got because it's 14 terabytes. That's a lot of space, okay? That can be one, and if that's your only one, then have another one, maybe similar to that one, that just backs all that data up as well, but that's not always connected. Maybe you don't connect that. It's maybe you just do once a month and you pull that in. So that that way, if 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 your if your regular drive goes bad, boom, boom, boom. If this one goes bad, and this is a spending drive, so it's a matter of if, uh, or I'm sorry, it's a matter of when, not if, that this will go bad. Um, I actually had I had one drive in when I was transitioning from my Mac Pro, which had all internal caddies, uh, 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 old style uh, uh, hard drive caddies built into it, and um, I, I found one drive that had my audio files on it. I had all my audio files on it and I put it in the caddy and I go in and pull it up and it's dead. And I'm looking around, what did I do? Have I screwed my own self over? Have I not followed my own rules and trying to get ready for this transition when I'm trying to reorganize all my backup structures? Did I actually delete the, my secondary backup of, of my audio files? Did I actually do that? And that went on for weeks. I thought I did. I actually thought I was about ready to half to go take that drive and pay six or seven hundred dollars, which I would have paid, quite frankly, to get all those audio files back off onto another drive, because I've had to go through that before with a different hard drive, and and it would have been worth it for me to do that. But that's a lot of money flushed down the drain that I could buy gear with. Okay, so um, I it happened to be I'd sold my 12 core Mac Pro, and so I I actually took it to work where I was going to ship it from, and I just did a once over and just making sure wiping all of my information and data off of that drive so I can get ready to ship it. And lo and behold, I actually left a hard, an extra hard drive in that computer, and guess what it had on it? It had all my audio files. So thank God the man upstairs is looking out after this boy after uh, I was such an idiot because um, I had actually broken my own rule for a second with having three copies of backup. So don't you be that guy. Don't be stupid like I was for a New York Minute. But... At the end of the day, backup drives are incredibly important. End the discussion. Go watch my other videos. Check out other things I've got to say. Hit that like, subscribe, notification bell down below. Go get your system backed up. Get three devil levels of redundancy. Get it done. Knock it out. Bada bing, bada boom. Have a nice freaking hard drive day. Goodbye.